na 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 drama wala visanga kwanza kumbuka ni akabado inasonga na ikipita kama uwezi rudia utabaki solo ukijijutia don't you dare be on my side kazi kushinda tu wewe ukijinyimisha na wenzako ni maisha wanapinya utadani leo dunia inaisha ngebe ngebe it ke bye bye tu ngebe 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 ge per danzi niru suni ku pe osi aku su mai jadada Yes, that is how you get people to know that Musani Ako Studio ni vile people wita Omusani. Omusani. Yes. Toko na Omusani ndani ya studio man. If you don't know about him, if you did not know about him, he's a singer, songwriter, performing and recording artist other than that, he's a content creator and entrepreneur as well. Can we put our hands together and welcome Letting Kenya to Transmission. That's what I'm talking about. Toko aje Mimi niko fit mazejo. Long time no see. It's been long mazejo but every single so time long. every single time nakuja Y254 <laughs> I always feel at home mazejo. I know. Thank you so much for giving me Anytime. this opportunity. Anytime karibu sana. Mm -hmm. You're so you're so welcome. Asante. And and of course uh, so ever since the last time I saw you to right now there's been a few transitions that have happened mm -hmm. in your personal life and your career. Yes. I'm going to start with your personal life first of all. You're now a husband and a proud dad. Yes. Yes. Of two. Of two. Yes. Of Tell two. us about that. How, especially of you know, being an artist, being a husband, being a father. How is it for you? How are you finding it? Because no. you make it look so easy. Do yes. you know what I'm you're like having a time of your life. Yes. I mean, some of the things that we always wished for when we were growing up mm. is this freedom and liberty to just express ourselves right. as children. Mm -hmm. And this is such a noble opportunity for me as a person now to impact the same on my children, mm. give them the liberty to express themselves and just to be themselves, basically. So it's a beautiful thing mm. and I can't, I have no complaint about it. You have it. no complaint yes. about it. And one person that you love the most is your wife, mm -hmm. who is amazing. <laughs> I love her. The reason I love her, okay, other than just being amazing and super talented, is the fact that she comes to my shows as well. Uh, they actually do. And that is so amazing. But she's yes. also your muse mm -hmm. in a lot of your projects. You feature your wife. Tell us about that, cause go mak zako kama zote yuko, and sometimes people often pull back on atumia ataka bibi atakuwa location, mm. but on atumia models and stuff. Yes. But anyway, in, in spite of that, she'll be among the models yes. to feature in your videos. Uh -huh. Tell so us about I, that. I think one one of the main reasons probably I, she's always in most of my projects is because we work together, and she's the most the most accessible person to me. Mm. But other than that, which is very much more important, mm. is that she's my strongest support system. Mm. And it's not something that I'm taking for granted. Mm. And you're going to be seeing her in so many of my projects, Yani. Uh. Yeah, because I, 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 I,
Kapalo ko sila sa God when. No worry. Let me tell you something. So, uh, he's all amazing and Gabe is just the song he performed yes. for us. So I'm thinking, we have a listen and then come back and talk some more. I'm an Eddie DJ. Kabisa. All right, let's go. Of course. So that is his latest single. It was by Ngebe. Absolutely love it. He'll tell us what that means. Yes. Sababu ametuamulia lately amekuwa tu tunasikia Kiswahili, English moja moja. The rest it is uh, his local dialect. Tell yes. me about that. Ngebe kwanza inamaanisha nini? Ngebe Ngebe is a Kalenjin translation of the of the Swahili word tuende. Oh. Or English in English let's go. Ah, so, let's go. Yes, it's a song that basically underscores the prudence of uh, living life mm. and enjoying mm. just as well as you just work ah, yeah I love that it's equally important so you have a, you have to have a balance in life. not yes. to all work uh, about all play. Uh, you gotta bal balance it out I love it and uh, speaking of uh, your musical journey mm. the first time I interviewed you uh, I met you I met you as a band mm. Halisi so tell me about the transition from you being fr uh, in Halisi to now you releasing your own solo projects mm. Um, you know when kuna 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 story ya the group dynamics. Uh, ina kuanga very strong in groups. Na you never lack it in any kind of a group setting. So such was the case with the Halisi the band. Three different personalities from totally different backgrounds who met up and decided to do music together. Right. But no, that does not cure the differences that we have, especially given the fact that we come from totally different backgrounds with totally different upbringings. And so yes, so that kind of slows your journey. Kind of slows your journey. It doesn't mean that Halisi is not there. Halisi is there as a strong brand 
only that it is slow mm -hmm. because we are also in the process of trying to strike that balance right. between our different personalities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why in the meantime, as we are trying to fix that, mm -hmm. each and everyone decided to delve into music yeah. from a solo perspective. And this is basically what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And it's fun and I'm enjoying it because it's also according me an opportunity to grow yeah, at a personal to, level. To grow personally. Yes. So, um, we can say Halisi was like a stepping stone. To yes. It shaped your career yes, now yes. to what it is. Yeah, and it's still my home. Yeah, it's yes. still your home, uh -huh. of course. Yes. So, is the music you're doing right now a reflection of who you are as an artist? Totally. Mm. It's, it's, it's a total reflection of who I am as an artist. Mm. Uh, I'm at a phase whereby I'm extremely experimental, mm -hmm. which is um, very characteristic even in my traits when I'm handling other aspects in mm -hmm. other spheres of life. I like experimenting stuff with my children, with my wife, with everybody that I love. Mm -hmm. And this is a perfect opportunity also for me to express myself with a lot of freedom and experimentality. Ah, I love that because of the experimental yes, part. Now yes. you get to do anything and anything you Kalisa. have ever wanted to yes. try and do and see what works for you. Mm. And now that you're solo, do you have um, any other artists that have you, you're being inspired by? I mean, most of the Kenyan artists, Wakitambo. Wakitambo. Kina Nameless, ah. Kina Big Pin. <laughs> those are my biggest inspirations. Right. Uh, including even the producers, Kina Lucas, talk of them, Kina Musioka, mm -hmm. Ted Josiah. All those people are big inspirations to me. Mm -hmm. Talk about um, our pioneers, for instance, in the, in the band industry, Saudi Soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are my biggest inspirations. Oh, I love Among that. so many other artists. Among so many yes. other artists. Right. Now, Umemok Tumbea Kikale, is that the way to go? Am I just still one no. of your experimental phases right now? And you're going to do more other, we're, we're going to see you try other genres or other I know, I stuff. am usually very deliberate in inculcating Kalenji in into my music so that I bring, I bring people very clo close to my roots. Mm. Uh, which is currently government, but uh, <laughs> I don't like saying. Bring that up, but finally, the employee. That was on a serious note. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was on a light note. Uh, I, I, I am very passionate about uh, my roots. Mm -hmm. I love my roots. I believe I come from a very beautiful culture, which is Kalenjin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and people have not had an opportunity to listen to Kalenjin because the kind of the, 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 the manner in which it has always been packaged music-wise, mm. the traditional Benga style. Yeah. So yeah, this time around, I'm trying something new, trying to urbanize it so that at least it, it can resonate well with the, mm. the current generation. Yeah. So and we see a lot of people yes. do that and it's working for them. The uh, likes of Okello Max. Yep. And he's doing it in Doluo and people love it. Yes. Still as more welewe, uh, as long as you just vibe, you vibe with mm. it. And I love that part. And uh, another, another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that uh, we talked about you being part of Halisi and now you're on this musical journey mm -hmm. that you're doing it on your own. All the fans. All the locations, scouting, everything, yes. that is on you now. Yes. So is that challenging in any way? Um, uh, it has been smooth so it, far. It has stopped being a challenge because, mm. I mean, <laughs> I started doing this thing in 20, 20, 2014. Right. So it's been 10 years down the line. Mm. If I'm to count all those years that I was still an amateur. Mm. So nimekuwa nikitrai sana, nimelan easy vitu. And at this particular time, I can say for sure that uh, resources are not an issue to me. Mm. I can, mm. I, can, I can pull my videos. I know. I like, we just pull up. <laughs> I, I Resources are not an issue. Bro, we prayed for days like this. Oh my God, <laughs> can you imagine being in a yes. position right now where uh, you can comfortably say, like, you can do what you want? Yes, and I, can, I, like I, I, can, I can pull very good videos. Mm -hmm. I can do very good audios. I was able to set up a home studio, which mm. is quite expensive. It is expensive. So, Maze, your God, I great. And I'm ah. going to complain, Maze. <laughs> if I high time, I just now work uh -huh. because things are now possible. Yeah. Yes. And, and and I love the fact that you are also doubling up as a content creator, uh -huh. as an un, un, entrepreneur as well. You're not just like 100% relying on music. Just say to me, Ambiwa, you have to have something else you're doing. Other than being a DJ, like Zima Ukwena. Yeah. Other yeah. than being a DJ. And you're a plug. Yeah. So we, I didn't know you as a content creator, uh -huh. but um, for those who are wondering who the wife is, is Shiro from Auntie Boys. Super funny. Mm. <laughs> she's amazing. She's yes. hilarious. Is she the one who got you uh, to start now producing content? Kabisa. Uh -huh. She was the one, you know, Nelimpata. Tulipata Naya Akiwa. Alikuwa Malaysia na Anti Boss. Na Alikuwa in another very local program. Mm. Na she was, she was trying to, to learn the ways uh, online also. Mm. So, in the process of her learning, I ended up learning too. 
Right. Na, na of course underscoring the importance of social media as a very important tool mm. to propel you in whichever career that you are in. Mm. Be you a dentist, kuna influencing in a happen somewhere too. Everywhere. So it's something that I just had to learn mm. uh, by induction mm. from my wife. Ah, yes. She's a great influence. Uh -huh. Imagine. Now you're a content creator other than, that, than just being an artist and entrepreneur as well. I, I love that side. And of course, uh, now I know you have fans who've been part of your journey from mm. when you started. And now you have new fans who are watching you on mm. Bounce Nation. What should they expect from you now moving forward now that you have, uh, you're now doing this thing alone? You said Halisi Badoiko. Yes. But as, uh, at the moment, you're doing this as Latin Kenya. Yes. Right, so what are they supposed to expect from you now moving forward? We're just in February still. Mazejo, first of all, Kwanza, I want to ask God to give me very good health mm. because that is very paramount. They say health but is wealth. If I get that health mm. and then God now gives me a bonus of wisdom, now these fans. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready. These, these fans are supposed to now be ready now to see me in their faces uh, mm -hmm. as much as they see their politicians mm -hmm. and their usual pastors. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to be part of those common faces that they see yeah. because there's a lot of work that is in store. Mm -hmm. I've been cooking a lot of stuff. I'm doing a Kalenjin EP. Mm -hmm. I'm doing an Urban EP. I'm doing an Afrobeat EP. Oh. Um, there are a lot of collaborations. And okay, a lot that's of, a lot. A lot of amazing artists that mm -hmm. I'm also working with. So this is going to be that year that you force. Who can force? Yeah, we have to do it. Who can force? Yes. Eh? We are claiming it, we are manifesting uh -huh. it. It has to be our yes. year. Yes. <laughs> by fire, by force. Uh -huh. I love that. Now, I know there's some people who are probably in the same situation you are in. Mm. They're in a band, they want to get out, they want to try to do their own stuff, mm. but they don't know how to go about it. Mm. What would you tell someone like that? I would tell them that we are living in during very interesting times whereby our pioneers have shown us the way, people mm. like Saudi Sol. Mm. Uh, I mean, as much as they are unit, they have also given themselves freedom to pursue music yeah. solo. Mm -hmm. So it shows that it, there, there's nothing wrong with that because all of them are thriving in, in the individual spaces. They are. So I would like to encourage each and every artist mm -hmm. who is in a, any kind of a group setup, and it doesn't have to be a slow one, mm -hmm. even if it is things are working right. Mm -hmm. Also, it's also very important for you to experiment with your own talent mm -hmm. and try and flex one oneza oneza fika wapi kivya kopia because it's very also very important because. It is not necessarily true that you're going to be together forever. Yeah. Yes. So you cannot like uh, just uh, rely on other people who are like, yeah, other beauties is for you, but the is right. working. So yes. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and um, okay, before you go, th I have a very deliberate question mm -hmm. I want to ask you. There's a video you put out, Nimeangukia, na kuna some scenes. Uh -huh. Oh, like, <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, uh, tell me why you felt uh, the importance of doing that, because it features, I think it's the one that features your wife in hospital, yes, right? When, yes. she, when she uh, went to, you know, put to bed, mm. and you put, in the intro, you put that part. Yes. Right, tell me the reason you decided to do that. No, um, th there's, there's, there's nothing abnormal, I'm a weird about uh, the process of giving birth. Mm. And, um, you know, first of all, eh, when me and my wife decided to have a child, it was not something that caught us by flat-footed or by accident. It is something that was very deliberate. It was well talked about, mm. to in private, mm. and we decided that we were going to have it. But you see, before you have a baby, there are those conditions mm. uh, you give each other as a couple. Yeah. And you see, for my wife, I understand her as this person who, who adores fathers who are present. Because at her I own personal level, does. at her own personal yeah. level, I have a father figure, sana. Yeah. Okay? Mm. So she has always wished that what you work with is present. It is very important. And there would very never very have important. been any perfect opportunity for me to be present, mm. apart from that very noble occasion where now this child was being born. Yeah. And I thought that it was a very beautiful experience that mm. I nilikuwa na feel too ni kama ina nichoka sana. And you had to share with one. Yes, everybody ah, had to see I that. I love that. Uh, and, and I love what you say, like ladies need their dad. Yes. Because if they don't, and now they grow up finding their dad mm -hmm. in whoever they are going to be involved yes. with. And it's something, it's just a cycle. It, it's never ending. It's crazy. So I love that you brought that up. Mm -hmm. And of course, thank you so much for making time well, I'm to grateful, come catch Mabijo. up with us. Do you have anything we haven't talked about that you like uh, to tell your fans? No, I like to tell my fans to check me out across all the social media platforms. Mm. I, I go by the name Letting Kenya. My full names are Galvin Kipkeboy, Arap Letting. Hey. But you can find me across all the social platforms as Letting Kenya. Mm. 
and also on YouTube mm -hmm. as Letting Kenya. Letting Kenya. Letting is yes. L E T I N G. I -N -G. G. Letting, yes. Letting Kenya. Yeah. Like I love that. Any shout outs? Kuna Mbogi, Shout out Natako Ipanyana Kikale. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 I only know one word in Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Chamge. Uh, missing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I would be bad, Sana. So, um, so yeah, Kale, because Mimi, I'm, I'm, I'm cross tribal. Eh? Oh. My, my, my mother is Luya. Oh. So, first of all, I'll send my greetings, first of all, to all my people in Rift Valley. Ocha Mege, Togule. Ah, Gata, Genga, and Etap Jesus Christo. Msalimike, Sana. I'm your son. <laughs> then now I go back now to the general people yeah, now and okay. the general populace who know Latin Kenya, mm -hmm. including my mom and sis when you're called LD, my dad called Western. Mm -hmm. And then every single person who went to school with Mazay, you people are very important to me. Mm -hmm. And every, po every, every single person who's actively supporting my music. Ah, Big shout out right. to you, Mazena Nawa Penda Sana. And we shout out to you. Why? Yes. She's in studio, by the way. Uh, yes, she yes, came to yes. have big support system. I don't even shout yet. Who would have to be in here too? And your videographer is quite popular. Yes. Shout out to everybody that uh, you, of course, pulled up and you as well for Asante being here. Sana. Thank you so much for making time. It was raining, you know? Mm -hmm. And you still made time to come through. Well, Asante, yeah, Sana. I appreciate that. Of course. And shout out to every bouncer watching at home for keeping us company. We are still here. To listen to Natoka Samoja. And we have one and a half hours to go. So keep it right here. And uh, we'll play one song. From yes. One more song from uh, Letting Kenya. And then we call it. Keep it right here. Now, Kuja Kustuma Salamu. So, if you send a few shout outs, I'm going to sample them in a few. So keep it white, 254. DJ.